Hey guys, this is your girl Urban Chick One, and I hope you all like the better quality video. <laughs> I'm finally learning how to use my uh, EOS Rebel T5 camera. But anyway, <clears throat> in this video, I want to sh give you tips and um, techniques and advice on how you can prevent breakage when you take out your weave or when you take off your wig after having your hair corn rolled or braided down for four to eight weeks straight. How can you prevent breakage during the take down? Take down. So my right now I have on a wig. This wig, I know my hair looks crazy. I actually just came from a dance class. So I sweat, I sweat a lot and I had a bang and a headband on. So basically first thing you want to do if you have a weave of course cut the tracks you know cut the thread out so cut all your tracks off and um if you have a wig just take it off Woo <laughs> so wig take off weave take out so now you have to um take down your actual hair and i will give you tips on how to prevent breakage during the takedown so the main three ingredients I use is water, conditioner, and coconut oil. Okay, so I had my hair um, braided. I'm gonna turn around so you can see. So yeah, it's really frizzy. I had my hair braided down for about five weeks. So the first thing I like to do is just, you don't, I don't like to drench my hair in water, but just casually, um, you want it to just be slightly damp. I got these tips from Natural 85. She does this method um, when her hair is tangled after wearing a twist out for a week. Now my hair is not as, you know, a twist out, but it's pretty, you know, when your hair is cornrowed and it stays in that state, all the shedded hair is intertwined with your new growth and your actual hair. So what I like to do, just slightly wet the hair. Um, just wet it. it don't, I don't want it to be drenching wet, like, because you're doing the takedown. So you're, you are detangling and unraveling your hair. It doesn't have to be drenching wet, but you want, the whole purpose of this is you want your hair to be pliable. You want it to have elastic, elastic, elasticity. <laughs> So main, and the main thing I do, what I do get wet a lot is the tips. Cause that's where breakage really happens. So just damp it. Now she does this on dry hair. Me, I, this is with my texture and I just don't feel comfortable doing anything to my hair when it's extremely dry. Unless it was like blow dried or straight or something, you know. But anyway, okay. So once you, you'll feel it. Once it's damp, just make, you know, I like to get it in the scalp. Now what I do, I take coconut oil, I just pour it in this thing. I take coconut oil and I drench my hair in coconut oil. Now I don't know the scientific like the properties, but when I do this, my hair is like butter. Like it is so, um, it's just like, it's not as tangled compared to just doing water. It's like amazing. Like coconut oil and then the conditioner on so yeah okay it's just I don't know so basically you damped your hair now all I'm doing I put the coconut oil in my hand and I just rub it all uh, all on my hair after all you hear is drenched in coconut oil coconut oil what I do is I take a conditioner. It can be any conditioner. It doesn't have to be anything special. I take my Tresemme um, Remoisturized Conditioner. And what I've realized for me personally, I like the original Tresemme Conditioner. I don't like the all natural brand. You know the green, um, the green package of Tresemme? That has no silicone. But for me and my texture, silicone actually helps my hair from getting matted. <laughs> during the washing process. So, I like silicones. <laughs> like, so, I like to use the original Tresemme brand. Either it'll say moisturize or curls. Um, as long as the is the um, second 
ingredient, I'm all for it. Um, a lot of other people, they don't like silicones and they use a lot of natural um, products because, uh, you know, silicones can weigh your hair down. But for my texture, it is not weighing none of my hair down. <laughs> my hair will not be weighed down unless I drench it in like oils or something Then it might feel... But yeah, anyway, so what you want to do after you, you know, spray water to damp your hair, you put the, co you drench it in coconut oil and then you drench it, you drench it in, um, in conditioner. So also make sure you have hand towels by your side if you feel like your hands are getting too icky and you have to touch something. So because you have to remember, your hair has been in a braided state for over four weeks. So all the shedded hair is intertwined with your hair. And that can cause a lot of tangling. Tangling can cause a lot of breakage. So you want to you want your hair to be in a very um, pliable state. So when you take it down, you'll have less breakage. I mean there will always be a certain amount of breakage but you want to prevent you want it to be as minimum as possible so this is what i do okay so once it's drenched i like to just cover my hair with a shower cap and just leave it on for like five to ten minutes you don't have to leave it on that long so that way the conditioner and the coconut oil soaks in my hair and gets it all supple and after I leave it on for five to 10 minutes, then I'll unravel my hair with my hands. I don't use combs, okay? So this is the first step. You use water, coconut oil, conditioner. You put on a shower cap for five to 10 minutes. After five to 10 minutes, I will come back, okay? So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been actually 20 minutes. I went and had a snack. <laughs> but you don't have to leave it in that long. You leave it in for like five to 10 minutes. Also, I mean the cap on. So, I would also recommend having hand towels on the side if your hands get oily and your phone rings and you want to start touching things and touch your phone. So have hand towels on the side. So basically, I, you know, drenched my hair in water. Well, not drenched it. Slightly damped it in water. Drenched it in coconut oil. Slathered on conditioner. Had that cap on for 20 minutes. All, so all I do now is I unravel my braids with my hands. Um, the only time I will use a comb is sometimes you know how your ends get intertwined at the end. So in order to start, um, you will have to use a comb sometimes. Like here, I don't want to spend so much time unraveling the ends because sometimes the ends um, really lock on each other, if, especially if you take care from one part and you take it to... Um, finish off a braid or a twist so this is all I do that's it um so basically I take down all my cornrows with my hands some girls use a comb but for me mm -mm -mm. if I want my hair to break like crazy I'll use a comb so stay down with your hands and then after I take down all my braids with my hands then I'll use a wide tooth comb or usually I like to use a paddle brush to detangle my hair okay hey guys so I took out all my braids and I <laughs> I was really close up to the camera so I backed up a little bit so you can see my hair so I took out all my braids using only my hands Woo. now what i do because the thing is even though you unraveled your hair you still have tons and tons of shedded hair that's interlocked with your hair from your roots since it was cornrowed for weeks so you want to get as much shedded hair out as possible so that when you wash your hair your hair doesn't get matted and tangled with the shedded hair so this is what i do so i unraveled only with my hands now i go back to my water bottle this is like half water half aloe vera but you can use water and what i like to do so this is my hair right now so what i like to do i'll spray it lightly 
the water until it's damp. Go this way so I don't get it. And if I look this way, my mirror is this way. So what I do is spray it like leave with water. And yes, okay. And then so once my hair is damp, like my hair feels very soft and very fluffy. That's why I like doing the coconut oil and then the um the conditioner. I would also recommend fouling your nails because my nails are catching on to my hair. Okay, so what I like to do after I spray it with water and it's it's lightly damp, and I know it's easy for me to um start moving my hair around, I break up my hair in four sections. Okay, so my hair is broken up into four sections. I go back. This is the I always start on the on the back. Um, I lightly spray it with water again. Well, actually, this time I do it where it's really damp, not soaking wet, but I want it really damp so I feel comfortable with the the um, paddle brush going in my strands. So, and then see all that shedded here. Look, look at that. Yeah, I mean, if you have time, it might be best to take your hands and just pull. I love you can see, just like. All shed it here so what I do with each section I split the section in two parts it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just detangling your hair you're not styling or anything and then this process usually takes me like 20 minutes it doesn't take that long <laughs> and then I just take my padded brush now honestly I don't recommend this for everyone if you're so like I don't know if you're like the type of person who's really concerned about this being too harsh on your hair, then don't use it. For me personally, I like the padded the padded um, brush to detangle because my strands go through it. The, the um, these I don't know what you call these bristles are very flexible, so my strands go through this very easily. Compared to a, a wide tooth comb, it would not catch all the tangles, and, and my hair would just snap and. And this, yeah, so this catches a lot of the tangles and a lot of the shit here. So your hair's damp, you pulled out most some or most of the shed here. You know, I go in and I use my hands to take out any wide tangles first. So and I do this very like bristly, you know. Okay. And I just take my private brush. I'll do your taut and I start at the at the bottom. That's all I do. And then until I you know you can feel it when okay it's starting to smooth, like easily glide through the hair, then I casually just go up. And what I love about this detangling method, it doesn't take long. And it kits like almost all freaking shady hair. Like See, my hair's like gliding through the freaking brush. Like, and look, this is all the shedded here. And you know the hair is shedded if they're like long strands. And my hair feels strong. It doesn't feel fragile like it's gonna break. So that's why I recommend doing the water coconut conditioner combo before unraveling and detangling your hair. It makes your hair very pliable. All right, so I'm gonna do my whole head. This usually takes no more than like 20 minutes. And um, the, the only wrong part about this whole detangling process for me is unraveling the braids by hand. That took me a, about like 40 minutes to do. And I was moving slow and I was watching a movie. So <laughs> if you're really quick, then it might only take 30, 30, 40 minutes. So I hope these tips, so basically, I hope these tips help you in your detangling process with your weaver with wig take down so but I just want to go over the steps so number one you you casually damp your hair number two you drench it in coconut oil number three you drench it in conditioner number four you put on your shower cap for five to ten minutes take it off hand unravel your, your cornrows and then 
you um you know what I do is I after this unravel I damp my hair so I damp my hair slightly so I can break it up into four sections then I damp each section in half and then I use my powder brush and then I, and then my hair is really detangled like it's so easy for me to split it there enough it's not breaking or anything so It feels strong, it feels fluffy, it feels moisturized. So I do this for my whole head and then I shower and deep condition. So again, this is your girl Urban Chick One. If you have any questions about how to pre prevent breakage or any questions about weaves or wigs, um, definitely post your comments below. If you have not subscribed to my channel and I will come with more videos in the future. I finally figured out how to use this camera. So expect more hairstyles in the future. And this is your girl Urban Chick One. Like if you have not. Subscribe if you have not. Comment if you have not. And I will see you.